Welcome to Tips and Tricks. Today I wanted to show how to delete files using the command line. And there's a few reasons for doing this, but one of the reasons I use it for mostly is if there's a sort of a problem file, a file that won't delete for a number of reasons uh, by dragging it into the trash can on the Mac desktop like you normally would. So the, the whole idea here is to use the command line. So we're gonna open the terminal window. So um, it's located in your utilities folder. So there's a number of ways to get there, but if you open a new finder window, open up your applications, scroll down to utilities and open that, then you will find the terminal application there. I've put it in my dock here for quick and easy access because I use it all the time. But let's open it up here. Okay, so we have our terminal open and this is where we're going to issue the command. I'm going to delete some videos that I have in my movies folder. So I'm just going to I go to that folder. So here we have a folder full of files and we're gonna delete some of these as part of our process here. And then we'll also show you how to um, delete a folder as well. There's a number of reasons why you might wanna do this. You might have files that uh, are giving you errors when you try to delete them, permission errors. Sometimes you might have files that uh, are corrupted so they're kind of grayed out. They won't actually allow you to delete them. Um, so this way will allow you to get around any kind of error when you're trying to delete a file. So usually when you delete a file, you drag it and, and you can empty the trash. And the file will be deleted. It's a number of clicks, number of moves. If you have a whole bunch of files, it can be a problem. Um, and because it's processing all this in, in the graphics engine as well, if you have a folder full of tens of thousands of files, small files especially, it can take a long time to, uh, to process. So let's just try deleting one file. So when we do this, we would normally choose RM, which stands for remove. And you can type the whole path to the file, but when you have a window open, you can just drag the file over that you want to get rid of and it'll fill out the path for you. Then you can hit enter and the file is gone. Now if you run into a file that's giving you a problem deleting it because it's saying you don't have permission to delete it or you're getting some other kind of error, what you can do is force it to using the sudo command. So to do that type in sudo rm and then pick the file that's giving you a problem. So let's say we want to delete this one right here. Drag it right into the window. It'll fill out the path for you. You hit enter. And it'll ask you for your administrator password. So it's the password for your computer. And as long as you have an administrator account, then it will delete the file. So we see the file disappears from here. After you type the password the first time for the sudo command, it'll, it'll actually not ask you over and over again uh, if you have to for a few minutes um, if you need to put in uh, some more commands. Now let's say we want to get rid of a folder full of stuff and maybe there's even folders inside folders. So let's create a new folder here and we'll call it uh, files to delete. Go in there, we'll create another new folder in there. So we've got some nested folders in here. Put them in there. And then we'll put some uh, some videos in there that we wanna get rid of. So let's say we've got a video in one part of the folder. Uh, we've got a, another couple of videos here. Or files, in this case they're, they're videos. Okay, so we've got a folder here with folders inside it and files inside it. If we're gonna close that we can see we've got some folders or some files there, some files here. And we want to basically get rid of everything that's in this folder and folders underneath it. Then when we're ready to get rid of that folder and everything inside it, we type in sudo rm 
minus RF space. And then we drag our folder in here. It puts in the path for it. So now it's going to go inside that folder and look for anything inside it, even other folders and folders inside folders and get rid of it all. So we'll hit return and then look here, this will disappear. After we type our password in. There we go, the file has been deleted. Now remember this is permanent, so you can't make a mistake when you're issuing this command, otherwise your file is gone and it's gone forever. It's not like you can dish it out of the trash or anything like that. So be very, very careful when you're using this command and make sure you're deleting exactly the files that you meant to delete. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to get rid of certain types of files within a folder. So here we have a folder with a number of different files, some with the .mov extension, some with the .m4v. So some are normal QuickTime movies and then the others are basically MP4s. Uh, so now we can pick what kind of files that we want to delete out of here rather than just selecting each one of them. Now you could go through and kind of click like this, click, click, click. But if you have a folder with hundreds of these, it can be a real, real problem to do so. So let's say we want to only get rid of the files that are .mov. We can go here into the terminal, type sudo rm, and then we're going to drag the path of the folder here into the command. And then we're going to go back one space, put a slash, and put a star, or it's also called a wildcard, and .mov. So now what it's going to do is look at any file that has any name but ends in .mov. And then when it finds it, it's going to remove it out of this folder. So if we watch here, now when we hit return, all those MOV files are gone. They're deleted forever. Now please do remember that all of these commands result in permanent changes to your files. They will delete your files, so be very, very extremely careful when you use the command and make sure you're selecting the correct file. If you want to read more about the rm command in terminal, you can go into the terminal window and type man rm and you will get all the documentation about the command with all of the extra options that are available. I hope you found this video useful and I hope you're able to save some time and get around some problems in deleting files by using the rm command and the command line in Mac OS X. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out a lot. And subscribe to the channel. We're always putting up new videos with different tips and tricks. And share it as well. Share it to as many people as you think would find it useful. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.